When it comes to traveling, there's a lot of planning involved. The hotels, the activities and expense you want to try and so on. One of the hardest things for me is deciding what items I need to carry for the duration of the trip and the best bag to use. For instance, if I want to bring my DSLR camera, then it adds too much weight since I'd have to bring its carrying case as well and extra batteries. So to simplify this travel decision making process, I checked out the one bag forum on Reddit and I saw how popular the Osprey 5.40 is. So I had to give it a try since I don't like using suitcases and dealing with check-in baggage fees. I just want to grab my backpack and start my adventures as soon as possible. The far point is primarily made with recycled polyester and this makes the overall bag lightweight and durable. In terms of water resistance, I don't see any mention of this, but I don't think it's an important feature because most people will go directly to the temporary residence even if it is raining. The front section is an open design and you can see how quickly you can throw your water bottle in when you're on the go. You can also attach a day pack to the front of the bag and I'll show that later. If you're liking my videos, like and subscribe. It'll help me make more videos faster and produce content that you'll enjoy. What impressed me is the stowaway back panel, harness and hip belt section. This is important to protect the straps and make it easier to store in an airplane overhead compartment or when you want to hold a side handle in a briefcase mode. Inside of the panel is a section to store your ID but it doesn't have velcro to keep it securely rolled up like the previous Farpoint model had. The strap pattern is incredibly plush and comfortable to wear for long periods of time, but also breathable when you're in a warm environment. Fun fact, the sternum strap also doubles as a whistle. The hip belt is also padded and contains this stretchy mesh pocket that securely holds small items. Even when I turn the bag upside down and shake it, the elasticity it securely holds my wallet. Back support is super important when you're moving 10 to 20 pounds of luggage in a dynamic environment like an airport, bus station, or train terminal. The back section is a highly breathable area that actually lets air flow down your back, thus keeping you cool. It's made from the soft yet rigid foam material that feels nice on the spinal column because it won't stick to your sweaty back. To keep the shape of this entire bag, the far point uses a suspension system. There's a 4mm light wire peripheral frame that effectively transfers the load from the harness to the hip belt. Also, the rigid back foam I mentioned earlier is also called a Italian frame sheet and that helps spread the load across the entire back panel to the peripheral frame. The internal compartment is spacious and contains two horizontal straps to secure your items with a clasp. The base of the section is padded to protect the laptop compartment underneath it. In the cover, there is the zippered mesh compartment to store additional items like sandals, wide brim hats or really anything that you want quick access to. This little river holds for water to drain out of if you have a sweaty or leaky water bottle or just wet items in general on the outside pocket. How you pack your bag is just as important as what you carry. I recommend using travel cubes to make the process of organizing your items as simple as possible. That way, if you need to open your items in public, you can quickly locate what you're looking for. The laptop compartment is large enough to hold a 15 or 17 inch laptop. Using the internal and external compression straps gives the overall bag a slimmer profile and adds additional security of keeping items inside from bouncing around on your back uncomfortably. What I'm not too fond of is the laptop section in the back. From personal experience, I've had the weight of items in the main compartment warping the pixels on the screen as I was moving to a new location thus damaging it. The previous 4.40 model kept the laptop compartment in the front of the bag and gave excess space so I wish they kept this feature in the new model. The zippers flow smoothly like butter on freshly made bread and are created with overlapping holes that you can place a combo security lock on. Now with the backpack, let's take it for a quick spin. The point feels great to walk in and I understand why it's the preferred travel bag of many editors. One thing I felt after 20 minutes of walking is the bit of strain in the shoulders and I felt the looseness which made the experience uncomfortable. When I took the bag off to release the tensions from my shoulders, I realized I hadn't connected the final shoulder straps that would bring the bag tightly to my back. I connect this clasp as you see and pull. So the comfort level went from great to fantastic because the shoulder strain is gone. I think this proves that the designers of this bag truly thought of everything to make it sit well on a person's back for extended periods of time. Every strap is being used to optimize comfort level for my walk in the park. And the lesson from this experience is that every feature on the bag is there for a reason. You should try to use them where you can. Now let's actually test a far point in a foreign country.
In my Euro trip, I found that the Farpoint was excellent in comfort, design, and utility. On my journey, I met this European couple that noticed we had the same bag and it acted as a conversation started for the both of us. They mentioned that they tried other travel bags and found the Farpoint to be the best one they've tried thus far. Before you know it, I made friends with them and was asked another man, who happened to be an engineer like me, his recommendations of things to see and do in Spain. Walking in the train station, you can see the small Osprey day pack attached securely to the bag with day trips in the new city. Once I exited the Barcelona station, we had to walk to our Airbnb hostel, which was 30 minutes away. I'm really glad I tested the bag before going abroad because the stain would have slowed me down. Again, I'm traveling somewhere in Spain, so it's actually really warm out, but the airscape feature on the back channeled the movement of air down my back to keep me cool. Side note, Madrid and Barcelona are really beautiful cities, and I'd recommend anyone check it out. I'll be making a Euro trip video soon, so make sure you subscribe. Overall, the Osprey 4.40 is a stellar travel backpack to own. When the pandemic happened, digital nomads wanted to have a way to move around the world with important possessions and the 5.40 has proven useful in making this happen. While some may hesitate at the cost of this bag, in my opinion, I think it's worth it because of the comfort and durability built in. Plus, you'll likely have it for a very long time. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not too fond of having the laptop section on the back where the items in the main compartment would press against the screen, but in the end, it was fine. If you found this review helpful, give a like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next episode.